Hello YouTubers, this is another video about an animal and usually I avoid to make too many comments when there is uh, such an animal like this one because I don't want to scare it and also there is no point, I will put the description but this time I do uh, a comment uh, just telling you how I do my animal videos and uh, what I consider at this point to be important. So when I by surprise run into an animal which I didn't expect to be there first of all my mobile phone camera has to be immediately uh, available. This means that I rush to the place where my phone will be if it's not with me and I'm of course in stress that this animal will be gone in the meantime. So the best thing is to have your phone and a very good camera phone always with you. And then uh, you may end up in an uncomfortable position. This means that uh, you are not in ideal working conditions. Many times you will be starting to make the video and you are having one leg on one side and one arm there and you, you are actually feeling pain after some time and you still want your video to not be uh, too shaky uh, because it's it's of course uh, very sad when you make a very rare uh, shooting of a, of a rare animal which is like this one now not moving much so it's more easy but that you are shaking around and that actually the whole footage is basically uh, how do you would say uh, not not conveniently well done for for the subject you you want to present to the entire world so you see now this video is already running four minutes and I'm not even editing it I just push once in a while the pause button uh, something I started to do uh, not that long ago because uh, I used to make my videos in one piece and just upload them like this and now I start to use the pause button to avoid that sometimes when I move my 
my own body in a more comfortable position that I'm not uh, having the viewers uh, notice this too much. And I also think that when I make a video, if I make an intro right on the spot, it's okay, but I need also to give time to the viewers to be listening to the natural sounds, if possible, if they're interesting. And in this case, I just I just need to show up for some time. Uh, no, sh shut up. You okay? I will just not say nothing because I want uh, the interested viewers to, to get enough time to use the footage as it is without any comments and whatever. Now, there is a problem in very often, especially in Sri Lanka, I have that problem that people are noisy around me. And that's not uh, something uh, I can change. There, there are places, you are in, in a forest and there will be always some background noise suddenly exactly in the wrong moment, such as a awning of a, of a vehicle or some music player going on or even religious buildings starting suddenly to make their loudspeaker noises and they are going very far these uh, sounds so you have to actually make the viewers accept that this is part of the reality and the sound can be edited can be removed or uh, put something else now editing the sound is something i'm slowly only learning to do so on my mobile phone it's very easy because there's a sound editing possibility right before even uh, uploading the video you have small editing program uh, some people go on the computer to do that. I, I tried to do it on the computer, but I don't know. It's just for me a waste of time for the moment because it's doing the same in the mobile phone. And you need to have a sound truck. You can choose something which is available online. But uh, I mean like this YouTube uh, music they offer you, but I think it's uh, for me not suitable. They're, 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 I don't have the right music. So you need to hunt for some uh, music or sounds which are co copyright free and create the sound file. So you have programs to do that. Now I'm in a totally different subject than this nice animal. Forgive me, but this is also part of the life of a YouTuber. I sometimes have ideas. I just want to tell them immediately. And actually it's still related to this animal video. Now I give you uh, the opportunity to just listen to the normal sound around me now. My goodness, we were lucky there was just a motor saw. Maybe you hear the motor saw and there are some insects and some birds and you know this stability of your hand not have shaking hands when getting close to such a small animal like this um, interesting insect still even if I'm very very uh, stable with my fingers and hands right now it's the background moving because this animal is sitting on a piece of textile which uh, which is moving because of the wind so that that is really difficult to keep in focus ah there's another thing also i want to mention you know when i when i run into the animal by surprise i first try to make a footage uh, without too much risk i mean the animal will just fly away if you are getting too aggressive with your stalking this animal which is maybe scared of a predator so we don't disturb it at the beginning we just start to film and let the film run this digital file will, will be possible to be shortened so uh, then once I have enough of footage in the let's say easy mode from the distance like this one I'm getting closer I put on the light also after some time to see if it makes a better uh, color and it, it does in this case because otherwise, if I remove the camera, uh, uh, own camera um, light now, look, it will make this difference. So it's just black, which is interesting to have a, a shadow effect. 
but it's a little bit boring for the animal uh, lovers who want to see the, the animal really close and here we go that's the difference so I switch that light on sometimes not immediately trying to see if the natural light is giving some good results give the people time to have some seconds to view the image in different ways so that some people who will uh, use the video uh, of course by respecting some rules but like non-commercial use for some uh, video they want to do they, they they gonna take out just that part which they want and you need to give them enough time like um, uh, what I what you must not do is like this here you know like oh look 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 this look look at the butterfly oh my goodness well, my butterfly this is total waste of um, uh, resources and time so think of doing actually a photograph with your video camera uh, find the right angle and once you have enough and now we really have enough already 11 minutes of showing mostly the same thing we're gonna get more close and take the risk that this animal will just run away but let it go no problem I don't want to collect it I don't want to kill it I don't want to pin it in some uh, display case and poison it so let's get closer to get the most out of this opportunity while we are together by coincidence now I should hold that textile with one hand to stop it from moving and I can actually direct the animal more close to me now imagine you have one hand holding the camera one hand pulling on the textile below and and yourself you still have to keep yourself upright it's not easy it's it's in the macro like now in the high uh, definition uh, close-up it's really not easy with one hand to keep the camera uh, so stable that you don't see any shaking uh, that's difficult so the wind actually today is very nice for us humans because there's not this heat anymore but to make the video of this fellow which I don't want to imprison I could catch catch it and just put it in a box and then film it another time but then he will be not in his uh, usual mood maybe he will panic so I, I try just to do it now well, uh, not so easy but he seems to sleep so no, now I'm I changed my hand now now I'm using the right hand to hold my camera and the left to direct this piece of cloth now the piece of cloth is just light uh, some kind of cotton it's not expensive to buy larger piece of it like four meters and uh, it's just hanging outside and slowly getting uh, mildew so these dots are uh, actually plants growing on the co cotton sheet and it turns out that sometimes some very interesting insects are uh, sitting there because they uh, maybe they are caught by it or they can go free anytime but they are somehow disorientated and they sit on that thing for for a longer time giving us the possibility to to go really close now I must uh, with one hand also push push the, the focus button on the screen and that is not easy no, really not easy now if I go too close uh, with all these movements it's not easy there's my finger visible mm. now the, the specialist for insects they will see all kind of things now and it's for them that I will continue to video in real close-up mode
this uh, I would call it butterfly but there's a much better word for it I'll find it on the Wikipedia Went to the below the go below the wings I can focus well mm. here's the tail of this animal which is uh, probably designed to punch the, the ground and dig this uh, organ into the ground to bury eggs if it's a female and the fantastic thing is this looks like a plant this animal looks even though the top looks like a tree bark the body itself looks like a, a plant So it may be well possible that such a, such an insect, uh, nearly as it is, existed already millions of years before the humans uh, appeared on this earth. Now I try to do a close-up of the head. Now forgive my comments. Uh, this is a little bit special. It's uh, it's showing the the thoughts of the person making the video with uh, his amateur means to do it because it's not a photo studio. It's not. There's no tripod. There's no high quality super camera involved with a special lens this is just a mobile phone and compared to the instruments which people used to have even the professionals in, in the older times before the digital age of course we are very very lucky that we have these mobile phones with millions of pixel resolution and um, anybody anybody today with a budget of less than I would say less than $150 he can do uh, this kind of videos and upload them to YouTube and you just need to open your eyes around you and uh, consider that the time you will spend for this is is the thing you have to decide about but to buy a camera phone any uh, anybody today can most mostly anybody can afford it our days even a second hand one will be cheaper but you, before you uh, purchase your mobile phone you uh, should uh, just try it out by taking something really small before you pay the phone and the second hand just try it out how easy it is to focus with it on the smallest things such as uh, not this insect but something tiny you will bring with you and you want to see if that camera can really do it well that there is not uh, some uh, uh, how do you say uh, oh, there's a special word for it it's like when you see that that the camera is losing the control it's just showing some um, like water flushing like uh, noise exactly that there's no noise when you make the noise digital noise on the now you see this is a Samsung phone Note 9 and when 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 I try to get really close I would like to see a m m most macro close-up version here but I don't know if that even exists on this phone uh, I think I had cameras before somewhere where you could switch into a macro mode then you would go so close that uh, it's like a microscope now somebody can put in the comment section if you know about such a, a high quality option in um, in some other phone or maybe in this phone which I didn't find yet 
because the, the you see the eyeballs would be very nice to to get more close now while I was talking it was a little bit shaking but look now I'm doing this I just stay the best I can and I try to make a picture you see like this one which as a still photograph would already be okay to make um, a photo for somebody who wants to show this insect as a, as a picture only so a video doesn't need to be always moving everything it's it's just uh, digital data <coughs> without shaking you need to succeed to do that because the people later they will take out what they want from this video some will like to see the head some others will see and of course you know that but I sometimes just need to explain this why my videos can become more lengthy now when I did videos which were just a minute long I just didn't have time to offer this little extra service so now I try to get more and more close no way we are getting unsharp here maybe that's also because of the flashlight it's going in another way than the natural light but this animal is not disturbed at all I'm already massaging his bed <coughs> look at my hand is so close and he's uh, still uh, happy to have a rest on that piece of cloth which is moving under his legs hmm. Beautiful camouflage design. Uh, there are trees having uh, this kind of colors, uh, th this kind of colors for, for for as a surface. So when he sits on this surface, uh, he's going to be invisible. Definitely. Maybe he will still. <coughs> this fellow will still be here when I will come back after some time because this is now enough. Okay, I hope, <coughs> oh sorry, I hope you learned something from my comments. Uh, I think that I will do more comments uh, about how to do things uh, for some of my viewers. Mm, but in the title this time I will not put tutorial and nothing. But I should maybe do that too. I see that on YouTube some people are doing that. Uh, so why not me? Because uh, having a channel now with so many... Uh, subscribers I should maybe give them some advice about my experience and um, uh, find people who will be grateful for sharing something because YouTube is about sharing you know it's not about making money it's about first of all having a feeling that other people will like what you have to show to them and this is a great great media to do this if later you make a channel where you can earn a couple bucks to buy a new mobile phone once in a while uh, that would be of course even better but to reach that level I think I should also make one video about this because it's definitely not easy anymore at all <laughs>